let's start with our preseason Heisman picks. Um, Joshua, I'm going to give you the floor first, um, but I also want to share that we're going to show you for anyone watching on YouTube. Um, these are the Heisman odds via BetMGM. So you've got Dylan Gabriel, then Carson Beck, Quinn Ewers, Jalen uh, Milrow, and then your guy. So, so Joshua, the floor is yours. Make your case for Jackson Dart. Yeah, so I'm I'm going with Jackson Dart here is my uh, preseason Heisman pick. Um, first off, I I've got belief in Ole Miss, and I might be foolish to do this no, because I'm with you. We, I'm with you. You know, like I think they could have a pretty special season, especially in an expanded um, SEC. And and we'll talk about schedules a little bit later as we go through our uh, our preseason CFP. But like Ole Miss in terms of schedules, I think that they've got a one of the softer conference lineups um, out of SEC teams. But Jackson Dart is a guy who plays with a ton of grit. He's got a lot of moxie. Um, he's got really good skill, both throwing the football and movement skill. I think that comes into play. And then I also look at Lane Kiffin. We know offensively what he has been. He had uh, Matt Corral as a, a top 10 finisher in uh, Heisman voting at one point. The other thing that I, I tend to look at um, is the fact that I do think their defense is going to be better. So their offense is going to get more opportunities to go out and score points. Um, and so Jackson Dart, like kind of down the list a little bit, not too far down. Uh, I think it's a, a little bit of a dark horse, but a pretty safe pick here. And I'm expecting big things from Ole Miss. Yeah, I am too. Um, you'll see in a second as we go through our picks, like I've got them in my playoff as well. They were one of those teams that was kind of like, hey, we're going to go all in and try to make this thing in year one. Jackson Dart is part of it. He's He's been a lot of fun to watch. And I do think, um, you know, he'll obviously be a huge, huge focal point for that offense. So I like that pick. That's a good value pick too, as you're looking in the preseason. Um, so my guy, I don't think he was the favorite all off season, but clearly he, he is right now. <laughs> I think Carson Beck was for most of the year. Um, Dylan Gabriel is my guy. I, I just think he's going to be the best quarterback in the country. Again, can make a case for Carson Beck. Um, th those are to me the two best. And I think it's a clear uh, top tier in college football, but Dylan Gabriel was the crown jewel in the transfer portal for quarterbacks. There weren't that many of that top, top echelon available yes. that were making moves. And so this was a huge coup for, for Oregon. You bring him in with so much experience, both at UCF and Oklahoma. He's won big games. We've seen him in the red river game, We've seen him go out and like, and, and win a game, which is huge. And Oregon's going to need to do that. They've got Ohio state on the schedule. They're going to have to go through everyone, all the big names, if they're going to win a national title. And I just think you're pairing him with Will Stein, who is great offensive mind. He took Bo Nix to New York. He was a Heisman finalist. And then you bring someone with the arm of Dylan Gabriel. I, I just think that that's my guy. I think Oregon's uh, going to get another Hawaiian uh, Heisman winner. So my, uh, I guess my, my, the one thing that scares me about the Dylan Gabriel pick is looking at their schedule where like voters are so obsessed with Heisman moments. And like, I was looking at it for Jackson Dart they, they're at LSU. If they can win that one, it's going to be huge. And if he has a big game, right, they got Oklahoma, they got Georgia in the regular season. Ohio State at home for Oregon is going to be a huge one. I believe they're on the road at Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Michigan's going to have a really good defense. So those would be a couple moments there. But like up and down the schedule, it feels like he has to have basically the two big games or it's it's not going to be enough from a moment standpoint. I, I think that's probably fair, but I think you're also forgetting that, you know, there's a big 10 championship game. Sure. If that's another Ohio state, Oregon game, like huge, huge, huge. Um, and also just in general, like the, the, the Ohio state, Oregon game, if he plays well in that game, that could be enough. I mean, like right. that will be arguably the game of the season, that one and, and Georgia, Texas, right. Those are the two that we've all circled coming into the season. Um, so I just think he's going to have the opportunities. And if Oregon is as good as we think they're going to be, then, then the best player on Oregon or the guy who has the ball, you know, every play is going to be in the mix there. So I, I know now he's the favorite. Maybe it's not, yeah. you know, that it's not that great of a pick, but I, the, I do really trust the ducks. 